みなさん、こんにちは。I'm Yuki, and I'm Japanese.In the previous video, I explained the pattern of Japanese currencies and introduced how to distinguish them.However, recently a cashless society is also progressing in Japan, and the number of people who use cash is decreasing. So, this time, I would like to introduce the transportation IC card, which is one of the most major cashless payments in Japan. In this video, in addition to basic information of transportation IC cards, I will also introduce how to buy and how to use them. So, please take a look to the end. I'll explain in English first, and then I'll explain the same content in Japanese. Now, let's start with the English part. Transportation IC cards are one of the prepaid cards issued by railway companies and bus companies. Its name has transportation because it is used when using transportation such as trains and buses. There are various transportation IC cards in each area of Japan, and if you have one of the 10 main types, you can use it on trains. Buses and other transportations all over Japan. Furthermore, it can be used not only in transportation, but also in restaurants, convenience stores, supermarkets, and vending machines. And with this card, you do not have to buy a ticket every time you get on the train or calculate money at the store. It's very convenient. All cars have that same basic mechanism. Commuter passes, credit cards, point benefits vary from company to company. Now, let's start with how to get this useful card. Transportation IC card can be purchased at the train station counters and ticket vending machines. This time, I would like to actually purchase the Suica card, which is a JR East card, at the ticket vending machine. First, press the Purchase New Suica button on the automatic ticket vending machine. Choose between a name inscribed Suica or a blank Suica. A name inscribed Suica is issued by registering your information such as name, date of birth, and gender. Only the registered person can be used, and if it is lost, it can be reissued. A blank Suica can be obtained without registering your name. You can share one card with your family or friends, but if you lost it, it you cannot reissue it. This time I chose a blank Suica. When purchasing a deposit of 500 yen and a minimum charge of 500 yen, totaling 1000 yen is required. The deposit will be returned when you return the card. This time I chose the 1000 yen button. Since the amount is displayed, insert cash. After a short wait, a new card with 500 yen will be issued. If your card balance is low, add money to it. You can also top up at the ticket vending machine. Many stations have ticket vending machine dedicated to it. After pressing the charge button and putting the IC card you want to top up, decide the amount. This time, I will put 1000 yen on it. If you put cash into the ticket vending machine and wait for a while, a procedure will be completed and the card will be come out. Then, let's actually use it. It's easy to use when you get on the train. All you have to do is make the IC card to touch the ticket gate of the station. When you arrive at the destination station, Make the IC card to touch the ticket gate in the same way to exit. Since the station you got on and the station you got off is recorded in the card, the fare will be paid automatically from the deposit balance. 
However, if the balance is less than the pair, an error will occur, so be careful about the balance. The balance will be displayed when you through the ticket gate. Not only trains, but also buses and taxis can be paid in the same way. Next, I will introduce how to use it outside of transportation. Even if it is not transportation, you can use it at many shops such as restaurants, convenience stores, supermarkets, and vending machines. Please check the mark of mutual use of transportation IC cards nationwide. At the time of payment, just say I want to pay with a transportation IC card and touch the dedicated terminal. Recently, the number of shops that can be used is increasing, which is very convenient. If you no longer use it, such as before leaving Japan, you can cancel and recover your deposit. Please note that you can only complete the procedure at the same railway company counter or ticket vending machine as when you bought it. For example, if you enter Japan from Narita Airport and purchase a card at the ticket vending machine at Narita Airport in Chiba, you cannot make return procedure at Kansai International Airport in Osaka because the railway company is different. Also, if the charge balance remains, the refund fee will be deducted, so it is recommended to cancel after using up. It's also a good idea to use it as a souvenir from Japan or on your next trip. Finally, today's summary. In Japan, there is a prepaid card called Transportation IC card, and there are 10 types of interoperable card nationwide. It can be easily issued at station counter or ticket vending machine. When the IC card balance is low, you can top up it at the ticket machine. When you get on the train, touch the IC card at the ticket gate to enter. And when you reach your destination, touch the IC card to leave. And the balance of the card will be automatically settled. Transportation IC card can also be used for payment at shops and restaurants. The deposit will be returned when you complete the return procedure at the ticket vending machine or the counter. There are also great deals of travelers such as travel pass, but in many cases, the area of use, price of purchase, and period are limited. However, transportation IC card can be got at major stations and can be used nationwide. If you return it before leaving Japan, the deposit will be returned, so it is not cost to you to get it. It's very convenient, so please use it when you come to Japan. For details such as a name inscribed cards and points to note regarding use across areas, please see the link in the summary or ask a question in the comment. That's all. Then I will switch to the Japanese part. Kotsuke IC card wa tetsudo gaisha ya bus gaisha ga hakkou suru プリペイドカードの一つです。電車やバスなどの交通機関を利用するときに使うので、交通系と呼んでいます。日本全国のエリアごとに様々な交通系IC カードがあり、そのうちの主要な10種類のどれか一つを持っていれば、全国の電車、
この便利なカードを入手する方法から紹介します。交通系 IC カードは鉄道駅の窓口や券売機で購入することができます。今回は JR 東日本のカードであるスイカカードを実際に券売機で購入したいと思います。まず自動券売機の新しいスイカの購入ボタンを押して記名か無記名かを選びます。記名カードは氏名や生年月日、性別などを登録して発行するものです。登録した本人しか使えませんが、もし紛失してしまっても再発行が可能です。無記名カードは名前などを登録せずに発行することができます。1枚のカードを家族や友達と共有して使うことができますが、紛失した場合の再発行はできません。今回は無記名カードを選択しました。発行する際には、500円のデポジットと、最小のチャージ金額500円を合わせた1000円が必要です。デポジットはカードを返却すると戻ってきます。今回は、1000円のボタンを選択しました。金額が表示されるので、現金を投入します。少し待つと、500円がチャージされた新しいカードが発行されます。残高が足りなくなったら、チャージをします。チャージも、同じ券売機で行うことができます。チャージ専用の券売機がある駅も多いです。チャージするボタンを押してチャージしたい IC カードを投入したらチャージする金額を決めます。今回は1000円をチャージします。現金を券売機に入れて少し待つと1000円のチャージが完了しカードが出てきます。チャージができたら実際に使ってみましょう。電車に乗るときの使い方は簡単です。駅の改札口で先ほどの IC カードをタッチするだけで OK です。目的地の駅に到着したら、同じように改札口で IC カードをタッチして退場します。カードの中に乗った駅と降りた駅が記録されているので、チャージ金額から自動で運賃が支払われます。ただし、運賃よりも残高が少ないとエラーになるので、残高には注意してください。残高は改札口を通過した時に表示されます。電車だけでなく、バスやタクシーも同じように運賃を支払うことが可能です。次は、交通機関以外での使い方を紹介します。交通機関でなくても、レストランやコンビニ、スーパー、自動販売機などでも使うことができます。交通系 IC カード全国総合利用のマークが目印です。支払いの時に、交通系 IC カードで払いたいですと伝えて、専用の端末にタッチすれば OK です。最近は使えるお店が増えてきていて本当に便利です。帰国前などもう使わなくなったら解約をしてデポジットを取り戻すことができます。買った時と同じ鉄道会社の窓口や券売機でないと手続きができないので注意してください。例えば、成田空港から入国して、成田空港の券売機でカードを購入すると、関西国際空港の券売機では、鉄道会社が異なるので返却できません。また、チャージ残高が残っていると、払い戻し手数料が差し引かれてしまうので、使い切ってから返却するのがおすすめです。せっかくなので、日本のお土産にしたり、
次の旅行で使ってもいいかもしれませんでは最後に今日のまとめです日本には交通系 IC カードというプリペイドカードがあり全国には10種類の相互利用可能なカードがあります駅の窓口や券売機で簡単に発行することができます残高が少なくなったら券売機でチャージすることもできます電車に乗るときは改札で IC カードをタッチして入場し目的地の駅に着いたら IC カードをタッチして退場するとカードの残高から自動で生産されます交通系 IC カードはお店やレストランでも支払いに使うことができます発行した鉄道会社の窓口や券売機で返却の手続きをするとデポジットが戻ってきますトラベルパスなど旅行者向けのお得なチケットもありますが利用地域や購入場所期間が限られていることも多いですしかし交通系 IC カードなら主要な駅で発行できて全国で使えます帰国前に返却すればデポジットも返ってくるので発行にはお金がかかりませんとっても便利なのでぜひ日本に来た時は使ってみてください記名式カードの詳細やエリアをまたいだ利用に関する注意点などは概要欄のリンクやコメント欄で質問してくださいね。That's all! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, please press a good button and subscribe to my channel! じゃあまたねー